Welcome to Bike Warrior. My name is Rishabh Bhaskar and we are at the Bharat Mobility Expo where Suzuki has unveiled the V-Storm 800DE. This is their new adventure motorcycle and it will be launched in India soon. Let me quickly give you a walk around and show you more about this motorcycle. Uh, the design, first of all, uh, looks very different from the rest of the ADV that we've seen on the market. It's inspired by the V-Storm 1050 as well as the DR Big. Uh, adventure bike it's one of the motorcycles that Suzuki had launched many years ago so again a very aggressive design very sleek I like the little short beak over here the LED headlights over here and there's a adjustable windscreen over here it's a little small but I think you will get accessory uh, windscreens later uh, this move to the side again this tank looks pretty big it's about 20 odd liters uh, this is a metal tank with uh, plastic tank extensions and then you have a pretty long seat uh, and a very minimal tail section. You come to the tail end over here again, you have an LED tail lamp, LED indicators as you can see. And uh, overall a very functional design, but it also looks very different. So the design overall looks quite, uh, I would say, uh, very different for an adventure motorcycle. I think it looks really great in these colors. So a very, very interesting looking motorcycle on the road is what uh, this motorcycle will look like. Now let's go to the ergonomics and let me hop onto the bike quickly. Uh, very big seat as you, as you can see and uh, we're going to run the specs uh, down there. Uh, the seat is very comfortable and uh, if you see the pegs are in a neutral position, the handlebar has a very easy reach to it. So imagine sitting upright and covering long distances wouldn't be a problem. Then because this portion over here is narrow, gives you good purchase for your knees. You can stand up and as you can see the stand up ergonomics are also pretty good for off-road. Uh, my colleague Prati Kunda is going to really love this motorcycle <laughs> for adding off-road, he's an off-road man. Uh, this is going to be a proper off-road motorcycle as well as great for touring on. Uh, let's now move on to the engine. This is a 776cc parallel twin engine. It makes an about 83 horsepower and 78 Nm meters of torque. Uh, it's a 270 degree parallel twin engine, so it's going to be pretty catchable, uh, good. It should have a strong mid-range. and. Uh, I think overall it will be a motorcycle that will have good flexibility to be ridden in the city as well as out on the highway. Uh, we are eager to ride it, we are going to ride it very soon, very close to the launch uh, uh, timeline. Uh, also, let's talk about the quality. The quality levels are pretty good. Uh, this is a Japanese motorcycle built by Suzuki. As we come to expect from any Suzuki, it looks really uh, well finished in many respects. Uh, these. Uh, so these handguards, for example, these are made of plastic, but again, you might get bark busters later and uh, put them on. Overall, it looks uh, like a very well-finished motorcycle as you'd expect from a Suzuki. Let's move to the chassis now. You've got a, a steel frame and suspended by an upside-down fork at the front. The fork is adjustable and you have a link-type monoshock at the rear that can be adjusted for preload using this remote preload reservoir, as you can see. Uh, so again, it's going to make it very easy to set up uh, the preload if you have a pillion on board or if you're carrying luggage. Speaking of luggage, you have a top box uh, rack over here. Uh, and you can get accessories that you can slot on. You can also, there's enough provisions over here to, if you see here, there's a little uh, hook given over. You can bungee your luggage or you can uh, fix a tail bag. Many options to uh, travel uh, long distances with this motorcycle. Lastly, let's go to the wheels now. 21-inch uh, wheel at the front and 17-inch uh, wheel at the rear. These are, these are Dunlop uh, mixed two tires. <coughs> uh, both on, both built for on-road and off-road. 21-inch wheels will give it good uh, handling uh, and uh, flexibility when you're riding off-road. But these tires aren't tubeless, these are tube type tires, so if you are really wary about punctures, uh, you might have to think about it. But then you could probably try putting an outtake kit and fixing it. Uh, lastly, uh, we can't really show you the instrument console, but it has a TFP display, it's a color TFP display, and you've got three ride modes, you've got traction control, you've also got a G mode on a gravel mode, and you can also switch off the ABS or the rear wheel and get the tail to slide. Overall, this is like a very promising uh, motorcycle. It's a new ADV. It fills in the gap between the V Strong 650 and the 1050. The 1050 is not on sale in India, unfortunately, but this is your next option above the 650. Uh, we are very excited to ride above. Sorry, we are very excited to ride this motorcycle 
uh, experience a new Peloton engine and uh, I think Suzuki is going to hopefully price it very very well. Uh, we've been told that it's going to be priced very competitively. So hopefully they do a great job with the pricing and let us know in the comments what do you think about the V-Storm 800DE and uh, would you pay the money that Suzuki asked for it. Uh, let us know what you think about the styling and uh, stay tuned to my quality.